The way the Lobo football team has been playing is enough to drive fans to drink. Drinking at tailgate parties before games is actually nothing new, but police say this year there is something new. More tailgaters who get blitzed are driving off rather than go into the stadium and watch their team get blitzed. Here's News 13's Alex Tomlin. Dick, more than 5,000 people usually tailgate before Lobos games, but only about half of them actually go to the game. The rest leave, and many of them haven't had time to process the alcohol they've been drinking. Usually I hear like people have drivers. A driver is exactly what Timothy Baker needed this weekend. He was one of thousands of Cherry and Silver fans kicking back at the tailgating area. But police say he went too far. He was involved in an accident with another vehicle in the parking lot. Baker blew a .16, twice the presumed level of intoxication. He's just one of a handful of people UNM police say they have to deal with every game who are drunk. And those are only the people who make enough of a scene to get police involved. They could be drinking for up to six hours prior to the beginning of the game. Once the game uh, begins, then, the, then they're uh, removed from the tailgate lot. They have to leave, either go into the game or leave. Police say the Lobos 0-5 record isn't helping. When you have a winning a winning team, the team, the people are more likely to go in and watch the game. Where alcohol is not served, giving them time to sober up. Instead, we're seeing a probably a, maybe a little bit more than half uh, leaving. Some with too much booze in their system. Even students admit their game day habits have changed over the years as the football team has tanked. Go tailgate and then go inside and have a good time and watch the game. But now? No, it's not. It's you go, yeah, you have a good time, but. You really don't feel motivated to go inside the game. There are about 90 officers patrolling the stadium, tailgating areas, and nearby streets. That includes state police, APD, Bernalillo County deputies, and UNM police. Stick. All right, Alex, officers normally arrest about a half dozen drunk drivers every season.